Good morning, everyone. Today is the day. The day of the prototype production run in Germany. The first prototype production run and hopefully the last. We won't know until the day is over. The board of the Pandora is pretty complex to make, so it might be we need another prototype production run, but let's hope the first one will work out. And well, I'm obviously pretty nervous. And it's almost 8.30, so it's time to leave. So follow me to Oberhaching, to Global Components, and see if everything works out. Well, here we are on the road from Ingolstadt to Oberhaching, through the snow, and well, I had to go there twice because we needed two days to finish the prototype production run. On the first day we had a few issues and we only tried to populate one board and as you all know that failed. But on the second day we populated 13 Pandora prototype boards and all 13 worked perfectly. It's about a one hour drive and well, this is the full way to Oberhaching. It's about a 50 times speed. And we are nearly there, so enjoy the last few seconds and then we are ready for the prototype production. Well, here we are, let's take a look at the machines. The first one puts the soldier paste onto the boards. These are the population machines and in the back that's the orphan. This is the metal stencil layer. These are all the points where a soldier paste needs to be applied. It's being put in this machine and well, these are the boards. Eight together would be a nice Pandora cluster. And this is the pick and place machine and all the parts. The parts are uh, mostly on reels as you can see here and they will be picked up by the head and put onto the boards. Let's see that. These are the heads. They are populating the boards, as you can see. So they pick up the parts from the reels and place them accurately on the boards. The Pandora actually has over 500 parts that need to be populated. There's even a small camera built in into these heads, so you can check they're working accurately. And here's our most important one on the board, the SOC, the OMAP, um, with package on package. This is pretty neat. First, the OMAP is put on the board, and then the machine picks up the RAM, puts it into soldier paste, and places it on top of the OMAP. Here you go, that's package on package. For the mass production runs, these boards will be mostly completely automatically populated, except for the nubs. But um, here we are placing some parts manually. This was only for the prototype production run, it saved us some time. But after that is done, the boards go into the oven and well, will bake for a few minutes. The soldier paste gets fluid and the parts soldier themselves to the board. Well, and after that was done and a few parts have been soldiered manually like the nubs, it was time for testing. Here's my testing environment. We've got a netbook for serial output, a small TV for testing the TV out, the breakout box that connects to the Pandora and gives the serial and TV out output. Here's my testing rig. Um, this is a Pandora prototype board from the German company. So we need to plug everything in like Wi-Fi antenna, LCD cable, um, power, as well as in USB cable and the serial box. So let's speed up things a bit here. put on the front cover and insert two SD cards. And then it's time to power up the little machine. So, here you go. 
power up, make a debug reset which will boot from the SD card and well here it is the Pandora logo. So I'll show you my tests. When you connect the power you see the Pandora boot up in the serial mode so even if there's no picture on the LCD, you can see that the Pandora is actually booting and doing something. And then it boots into my testing card. We can run all kinds of tests here. We can switch on the LEDs. We can check the uh, USB ports, both and the second SD card slot. Um, we can check Wi-Fi. So TV out, for example. After that I flash the battery gauge and then it's finally time for the input tester. Here yeah, press every single button, move the knobs, test the touch screen, can make sound with left and right so I can also check the sound output and well when everything is done the area behind the knobs will go green. And when everything is tested and goes green, you know, well, the input perfectly works. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. The Pandora prototype boards are finished. 100% working. That's best Christmas I had for years. So next year, in February, we'll start the mass production run. Then the Pandora should be available to every one of you who wants one. Well, and now it's time to say thank you. Thank you, of course, to the Pandora team who helped build this unit. Thank you to all the developers who port software for the Pandora. Without you, we wouldn't have anything to run on the Pandora. Of course, thanks to the community. You supported us all the time and you're still supporting us and this is pretty awesome. And a big thanks, of course, to all our investors. Without the investors, we couldn't have done it. The production in Texas, as you know, didn't work out. Without the money from the investors, we would be dead by now. Well, not we would be dead, but the Pandora would be dead. And we couldn't have started this in Germany. This is looking very, very well. We are on the way for the Pandora. And so I have to say thanks to you as well. And of course, I also want to say thank you to the developers of the software Mainly, of course, Notas, DJ Willis, Gizix, you know them all. And I want to say thanks to the team from Global Components. They really helped a lot, not just in getting parts and everything together here in Germany, but also with the production. And thanks to EBV and Fnet, because they helped me move the parts from America to Germany. And, well, without these guys, the team from Global Components and from Fnet, EBV, the Pandora also wouldn't exist now. At least, not these working prototypes. So I'm wishing you a very, very Merry Christmas. See you soon and thanks again.